Nung lumindol di pa pumutok ng bulkan, yung mga hayop, uh, kanya-kanya yung, yung iba, inalpasa na. Yung, kapag pumutok ng bulkan, yung ibang isda, napap, hindi na napapakinabangan kasi natipiskil. Nasa mga kasi yung tubig dahil sa nawawalan sila ng oksigen. Hindi ko na lang sa mga Diyos, huwag na huwag lang kako na idadami uh, yung tuga ng mayon. They always have plans for the humans, but always that the animals get left behind. In 2020, when the Ta'al volcano erupted, an ash column rose a kilometer into the sky and rained down on nearby towns, gravely affecting farmers and fisherfolk, like Riza Encarnacion. Maraming namatay nun na isda. Tapos yung iba mga piscages, lumubog. Karamihan sa mga nag-aalaga at saka mga pinansir, yung iba nalugi. Tapos yung iba naman nakinabang. According to the Department of Agriculture, the 2020 eruption caused more than $50 million of damage to agriculture in the region, destroying crops and killing and injuring farm animals. On top of threatening food security, the Ta'al volcano eruption profoundly affected another key economic sector of the area, tourism. Siguro, uh, mga 1,000 plus, dami ng kabayo dun talaga. Ang alam namin sa ano sa Taal. Palabasa nga doon kami kumukunan kami kinabubuhay. Ngayon, wala. Kanya-kanyang diserte. The emergency response did not call for the evacuation of animals like horses, cows, pigs or goats, leading to the death and injury of many of them. Local NGOs had to step in to fill the gaps. There was chaos all over. And, and veterinary care was really, really needed at that time. We stumbled upon this swinery and then we removed all the, the piles of debris that has fallen on the, on the pigs. We also came back with veterinarians to treat the pigs. We found the owner. We were able to talk to the owner and he was so crying because he said, this is my livelihood. Following the 2020 disaster, the Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office, or PDRRMO, of the province of Batangas reviewed its contingency plan to better respond to Ta'al eruptions. We have um, prioritized the command and coordination among provinces, cities and municipalities. We improved our evacuation planning. We try to focus on early warning systems. We've decided that the present plan will focus more on the interventions for animal health, for animal welfare. kilometers from Batangas, another mighty giant has awakened. Mount Mayon, situated in the province of Albay, has begun erupting. Tens of thousands of people have been evacuated. Because Mayon is the country's most active and predictable volcano, local authorities have accumulated the experience needed to refine their contingency plan. We cannot uh, have this uh, kind of uh, dynamic wherein we just uh, respond to calamities uh, in a reactive way. We have to be proactive. And the new regional contingency plan, which is being tested in this real-world eruption, takes the welfare of animals into account alongside their human caretakers. 
The response starts here, at the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, or FIVOLX. This local antenna of FIVOLX monitors Mayon's activity and provides the early warnings to all stakeholders. So it's uh, very important that we provide advanced information because there are time constraints for enacting a lot of these plans. So we need to provide information on all fronts. And um, that, of course, involves not only providing information, but checking how our public uh, are receiving this information and how they are responding, or if uh, they are understanding the information at all. Information sharing is crucial to preparedness and response. And in order for animal health to be taken into account when preparing for a volcanic eruption, FIVOLX has partnered with the Bureau of Animal Industry, or BAI, to include animal data into their online preparedness and response platform. And you can see the color yellow signifies the household animals. Since it's already almost been populated with uh, like information on critical facilities, on uh, schools, hospitals, might as well include those um, information that handles animal welfare, such as pooling uh, area or evacuation area for animals. So we use that platform. Uh, we use uh, the data that BAI has. Right now in, in Albay, where Mayon eruption is happening, you can see that uh, the government has already um, identified uh, safe places or uh, evacuation places for these uh, animals. I think that's with the use of the app that we've uh, developed uh, during that project. Indeed, during the ongoing eruption at the Mayan volcano, the local veterinary response team is hard at work planning another evacuation of livestock. Today it's alert level 3, so, so we have to move out all the animals inside the 6 kilometer. These are the identified pooling <coughs> sites of the animals. Uh, if we will not evacuate animals, uh, according to our plan, uh, first is uh, the animals will be at risk, and the other thing is farmers will uh, eventually go back to the danger zone and they will be risking their lives. Today, an evacuation of livestock to this pooling zone is underway. Local security forces participate in the operation to ensure that everything goes smoothly. The animals uh, we evacuated here are, are coming from the six and seven kilometers uh, danger zone. So we have almost uh, evacuated 300 different kinds of animals here. And when farmers bring their animals, a team of veterinarians ensure their health and well-being, because bringing together animals from many different farms is not without risk. When there's a uh, disaster, uh, most of the animals, especially their immune system, they're compromised. So when once uh, the immune system is compromised, uh, diseases can happen. We have this uh, veterinary medical intervention here to help the animals uh, to cope up with the current situation here in the uh, evacuation site. So we give vitamins, checkups, and the warming, or any necessary uh, treatment they, they needed here in the site. Thanks to the close coordination between local, regional, and national authorities, scientific institutions, and veterinary services, the thousands of farm animals living around the Mayan volcano are put out of harm's way. I just hope that uh this, this, this lessons from the Philippines could also be, you know, be shared. Humans need these animals and humans care for these animals. I think there, is, there has been a positive shift towards appreciation of animals' role in society right now. We're part of an ecosystem and so this ecosystem functions like a web that they are interconnected and so it's just I think for me it's just important as important to help animals and then help humans.